SpaceX? Sure. Let's go! SpaceX literally catches a rocket mid-air. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's actually insane. SpaceX made history during its fifth flight uh, for uh, for the company's two-stage Starship vehicle this week, which is intended to take astronauts to the moon in the upcoming Artemis 3 mission. The rocket's first, and do many other things to be clear, the rocket's first stage, the Super Heavy Booster, the most powerful booster ever made, not only carried the upper stage char- Starship uh, spacecraft to an altitude of 65 kilometers, or 40 miles above the earth but successfully separated and then it says slowly descended a uh, very rapidly descended towards <laughs> extremely rapidly descended towards the launch tower um after a breaking burn which looks sick the 71 meter or 233 feet or some people are calling 19 story tall rocket booster used uh just three of its 33 engines that's also not correct uh to maneuver towards the tower's massive mechanical arms which uh clasped on onto the booster, sort of. I can explain that too in a moment. Uh, catching it in midair, sort of. Um, the Starship spacecraft itself climbed to an altitude of 89 miles, or 143 kilometers, and cruised towards the Indian Ocean, slowing itself from over 16,000 miles per hour to near zero uh, as it splashed down in the water as intended. Um, and it was cool how they did that because while they didn't catch the Starship, it kind of like positioned itself as if it could have been, mm-hmm. and then went into the water because they, they were still trying to test for telemetry stuff. So there's some details about this that aren't immediately apparent. Um, Dan and I Wild. were talking about this before the show. Do you see the fins? Can you make this full screen? Do you see the fins? That's not what catches it. Mm. The chopsticks or the arms also do not pinch it. Right. When they called it chopsticks, a lot of people imagined that it was like grabbing it Mm -hmm. and holding it with like friction or something. That's not what happened. Um, Also, the fins that come out that you can see are not what caught it. Right. There's these tiny little, in reality, they're like bigger than a person, but the thing's 16 or 19 stories tall or whatever, so it looks insane. Apparently, it did use three engines for the maneuvering. Sort of. It also used a lot more of that first, more Mm. than that first. And then went down to three. 13, then three, yes. says Shammy, Shammy Heel. That is correct. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's there are two. I'm, again, I'm saying little. They're, they're not that little. Just in comparison to the structure, they're tiny. Mm-hmm. You can barely even see them. There's these two little tiny arms that come off the side. And there's uh, sections of the chopsticks that actually go up to touch them oh. so what's actually connecting is very small and like even the the turn of the ship had to be perfect wow. so it didn't just have to be aligned like within the chopsticks at all it also had to be turned to the like almost exact right angle and they nailed it i think i had a That's better wild. angle of it but realistically um you should just look it up yourself so that those people get the views um but there's cameras that are closer where you can see those those little arms that that actually catch onto the chopsticks um that was wild to watch super super cool massive success there first time they ever tried it which is insane um and uh also again yeah the starship itself while it you know went into the water and blew up that was entirely the intention as is tradition yeah um <laughs> but but watching how it like kind of came in and and positioned itself nicely and then set into the water and then was like cool mission complete fell over and exploded was wild they had these little buoys in the water yeah and you could tell it landed in the right spot because this buoy that i don't think they were controlling is just sitting there and it comes right into view nicely um but one of the if you watch the footage of the buoy one of the like fragments of the the starship flies and smacks the buoy nice (laughs) so it was like pretty close um but yeah, that was that was genuinely extremely cool to watch. And even if you're not super into space stuff, like this is this is a mind blowing feat of engineering. Um, watching watching something 233 feet ca- tall come flying in at crazy speed and then just catch itself is <laughs> nuts. I mean, I'm impressed when my my little handheld drone hovers. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't that's know. a lot easier to deal with. This 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 whole thing was. Uh, yeah, extremely, extremely fun to witness. I'm happy that it happened. 